Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. My name is Steve White and I'm a Battalion Chief with the Fishers Fire Department. In today's segment for heavy truck extrication, we're going to focus on the cab and all the components and power supplies so that they can be identified by rescuers to make the area safe before we begin extrication operations. To do this, we're going to bring in Lieutenant Eric Moore, also with the Fishers Fire Department, to go from front to back to identify these components. As we talk about the cab components today, inside the cab, simply there's two knobs, a yellow and a red, that we pull on. Just like in the fire truck, the yellow knob we pull on to apply the parking brake and push in to release it. The red knob applies air in the braking system to the trailer. This truck is equipped with air ride. We can adjust this air ride for stabilization. If you can gain access to the cab, there is a switch to dump the air ride on some models. Moving back down the truck, we're looking at fuel tanks. On certain models, there's 100 to 150 gallons of fuel on either side of the truck. This truck has a tank on one side. Not to get confused with the hydraulic fluid on this tank for the wet kick to operate hydraulic systems. On this model, we have an air ride suspension. As we look back the frame, down the frame to identify it, we see a spring. Not to be confused, this is a four bag air ride system. Simply look behind the axle to see the air bag. Some units have eight bag with a bag in the front. Looking down the frame, you'll find the leveling valve. The leveling valve can be used for stabilization. Underneath the axle, you have a brake chamber. The brake chamber is a maxi chamber comprised of two pancakes. That tells me that this axle has a parking brake. If it has a single pancake, it does not have a parking brake, which can be utilized in stabilizing this unit if we have to stabilize or lift the unit. The fifth wheel plate is movable. That's to distribute weight on the axles for the proper load. The rear axle, the same thing, has a four bag system. You see the spring in the front, airbags in the rear. Looking down at it, there's maxi chambers that we see, so it has a parking brake. So this tells me there's a parking brake on both axles. Identifying the batteries on any unit, start at the frame rail, moving forward, or in between the frame, or under the cab. On this unit, we've identified the batteries by locating the battery cables going into the box. We have a switch here for disconnect, and the box has a simple cover on it. We remove, lift, and locate the batteries. We cut the batteries or remove depending on your department's SOGs. Identifying the braking system, we discuss the maxi chambers. Here we have a service chamber located on the steer axle that tells me there is no parking brake on this axle. As we bring this segment of training minutes to a close, Hopefully we were able to point out the hazards that rescuers can come across and some of the components that are important before we begin extrication operations. I'd like to thank Lieutenant Moore for doing an excellent job for pointing all those out to us and we certainly want to thank Halmatro for sponsoring these training minutes.